one of the best ways to sell more on a website is by partnering up with affiliates. Take me, for example, I like promoting and I earn a commission based on that. So in this case, you can have your own affiliate portal to have an affiliate army promoting your products. For this case, I'm going to show you a WooCommerce plugin that's called Affiliate WP because it's one of my personal favorites for affiliate systems. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you Affiliate WP and no, they are not paying me to make this video. I actually do have a sponsor, which is Hostinger. And if you plan to grab your shared hosting plan, I do recommend them. And if you want to grab an extra discount coupon, I'm going to show you one on this video. So jump over to the link in the description, go into hosting, web hosting, and check out the plans that they have available. I'm going to recommend the most popular one, which is $3.99 a month. And if you add it to cart, and you select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go with for 48 months. So the price right now is $191 with 52 cents. But if you add my coupon code and apply it, it's going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now, like I said, Affiliate WP, they didn't sponsor this video, and I do recommend it because it's my personal favorite. And it's what I use for my WooCommerce stores. Now, it practically has everything that you're going to need. It has the affiliate dashboard, which is really nice looking. They actually revamped this. It looks, it looks way better than it did before. And it's nicer. It doesn't even look like a WordPress site. You got link tracking. It has fraud detection, one-click payouts, 50 growth tools that are really compatible with a lot of themes and plugins available. So I really do recommend it. And that link we provided in the description also. Like I said, it's a way to promote, which it incentivizes affiliates like me to promote products like this that are actually really good. Now, this is my WordPress site where I have Affiliate WP. And let me show you how easy it is to actually get started. So you're going to go through a four step process to get it installed. And you're going to have a dashboard just like this one. Now, the first thing I recommend is that you go into settings going through each one of these with calm and activate what you need and don't need. Now to activate the really nice looking portal, you need to activate this affiliate portal right here. So I'm going to tick this off. I'm going to save it and let me show you what the portal looks like without that option. Okay. So this is the affiliate area. This page is created automatically. So once you install the plugin, this is going to be available. Let's go ahead and view this in a new page. And this is a portal. So um, if you ask me, this is uh, really old, nasty looking, nothing nice about it. You know that it's probably a, a WordPress site. It just looks really dull. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate the portal. Fill the WP settings, fill the portal. Let's go ahead and enable the portal. And you got a lot of, a lot of options here. Yeah, you your logo, you got sharing options, Twitter, etc. But we're going to keep it simple for now. Let's go into pages. Again, affiliate area. And boom, that looks really nice, right? You got a nice looking dashboard, affiliate URL, statistics, graph, referrals, payouts, visits, etc. This looks really nice and it doesn't look like a WordPress site. Now, it's super easy to set everything up. It's just set and go. Go ahead and activate the things that you need and deactivate what you don't need. Those are going to be over here on the add ons. In add ons, we're going to be able to enable and disable what we don't need. Go through these, check them out and enable what you need and go ahead and disable what you don't need. You don't want to have bloatware there, things that you don't need. Just go ahead and disable things that, for example, if you're not using forms for Ninja forms, well, go ahead and disable that. Okay. You got a lot of options, affiliate QR code. So if this is, this is something nice to have. It's modern. It's good for some of the affiliates. So go ahead and enable something like that. You got Zapier, Life and Commissions, Leaderboards. So if you want to have a competition, fraud prevention, of course, you want to enable something like that. REST API if you want to go more advanced. And there's a lot of things that you can go ahead and enable and disable. Next thing I want you to set up, aside from the settings, your add-ons, to the SMTP. So you can send out emails with your own branded email. So that means it's going to use your own custom domain to send out the emails. But it's super easy, really great way to incentivize people to promote your products for a commission that you're going to give them. It's practically, I would say even cheaper than doing paid ads because affiliates are going to do a lot of work, a lot of content, which is going to help you in the long run because it says something positive about the brand. Because if a lot of affiliates are talking about this brand, that means that it must be good. I mean, in most cases, right? Like in this case, like I said, I'm not getting paid to make this video, 
but Hostinger is sponsoring this video. But I want to talk about Affiliate WP because I know it's really good. So like I said, if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, do use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.